Right now, though, we have what very well may be a first in automotive journalism. Matt Scannell from Vertical Horizon, who of course wrote the hit song Everything You Want, is here with me. This lucky fellow actually test drove the new Ford Mustang GT, liked it so much, you wrote a soundtrack to underscore your review. That's some passion, fella. Yeah, I, the car incited a lot of passion in me, and so I wrote, I wrote a piece for it. Wow. Yeah, well, can I tell you, it's, it's a good car. Can we take a look? Let's take a look. It's been around for decades, and yet, at the same time, it's all new. This is the 2018 Ford Mustang GT, and we're gonna drive it. <laughs> this car was built to cruise. Mustang GT has what they call the Coyote engine in it. 460 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. But it feels eager, it feels quick, fast. All those kind of superlatives that you'd want to have if you were spending 50 grand on a car. And at the same time, it's not intimidating. It's not scary. over time for their materials in the cabin. This feels expensive. This feels nice. Oh my God. So good. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is a beast of a car. All right, I'm here with Carl Widman the chief engineer for Ford Mustang. So for this year, what we've done is we've done a totally new styling on the front end. So it's a more aggressive look, a little bit wider in the grille, a little bit lower on the hood. Another new feature for the 2018 Mustang is active exhaust on the V8. So you get four modes to select from. If you don't want to wake up your neighbors or you want to sneak home late at night, you can put it in quiet mode to kind of get back in the driveway or get out of the driveway to go to work. So on the one hand, I feel bad for Ford's designers because they've got this legacy, right? It's this icon of the automotive industry. And yet they have to bring it forward. They have to make it a car of today. And I really feel like they've done it with this thing. It feels like a super fast, tight, modern sports car. And yet it looks like a Mustang. It brings us back to that original design. I just think they've done a great job, so well done. I love this car. I don't know if I love the car more than the song, because that song was fantastic. Thank you. It was so fun to do it. I think we came up with the title for we it. We did. Well, you did. Let's be fair. I, I thought that the title of the song should be called Limitless. It's Limitless. The name of the song is Limitless. Has it really been named that? Yeah, officially just became Limitless. Well, then I, can't, I guess I can't tease you about almost crashing the other car that you almost um, oh, no, yeah, you you, test drove. Oh, I was hoping Am you Am I allowed would. to do that? Yeah, I was hoping it, you would. Remember the <laughs> last time he was with us, the Ford GT, uh, $500,000 yeah, car? Yeah, the $500,000 car that I spun on the track. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. You returned this one safe and sound. I did. I did, actually. And that was my main goal for the day, was to not, the yeah, to not not spin the car. Can I brag on you? Please. You have uh, Vertical Horizon has a new album coming out. It's called The Lost Mile, and you can get it on February 23rd. Are we going to include Limitless on that track? Can we somehow add, actually, do an add-on? We, maybe we will. It's, <laughs> it, I didn't do Bonus it for the track. record. I did it for you. You did not. I did. I did the <gasps> song for you. That's amazing. That's okay, he song. can stay. He can stay. <laughs> Glad to have you.